Welcome back, Hobby Fist, GeoGuessr, Wednesday, four minute timer. You know the deal. Start the challenge. Let's do this. All right, we have ourselves so much information now. Karlstad, huh? This is just starting like uh, last one did. A lot of Scandinavian ones here. Green number two. E6, E18. Man, there, there's like. So much information here, but it's I still need like more, which 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 is bad because uh I gotta look for the green two. That's E eighteen, that's a red six. Well I found a red two, but that's that's not what I need a green two. Alright, we're gonna zoom this out again to look for I could bring this up here because I forget things easily. Actually well, actually we're not gonna see that side of the map. So here we go. Looking for the two. As we do this, um, how y'all doing? I know this is a one-sided conversation here, but hope you're having a good day so far. Whatever really constitutes that. Maybe you're you're starting your day with this, and you might not want to listen to me too long because my voice will put you to sleep. I've been told that many times. The E8. How far do I got to zoom in to get uh, yellow? They're white blocks and I feel like I'm committing too hard to this Karlstad I feel like I should know Karlstad how far do I got to zoom in to get to the white blocks is it even this country we'll go back over here to Sweden and I'm not getting any okay we're gonna go Norway help me out here any of you okay you do have those and there's the numbers all right we got the 9 42202 i have 2 minutes to find this 202 202 or 2 2222 222 37 we're going to go far okay that's the 9 we know okay that's the 9 we've established 9 let's go farther up the edge of the country here um seven okay we've got bigger numbers here and we're gonna go until we find a two i feel we're f just far enough out to see a lot of the map and still actually see this specific root number and then from there once i find this goddamn two i found every number but it there's the four i got a minute left oh two here we go sweet all right Karlstad. Uh, where's this two go Okay, I don't see a 2. Let's scroll in to find the 202. Karlstad. Nope. 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 Oh, 2 disappeared. So it's this strip of road? 205, 210. 202. Alright, this is the 202 to Ostmarka. And this lady can sing. She's got some pipes on her. It's always impressive listening to oh, 202 is here. Okay, now the 202 seems to have disappeared. 30 seconds. I'm going to click right here just so we have Ostmarka or Skoterbund. Skoterbund. What would we lost the 202? Oh, it's right here. 20 seconds. I haven't seen it, so I'm going to keep clicking up until I see it. Uh, we're going to click right there. 12 seconds. I'm happy with that. I got totally lost just being in a sea of... Like, it feels like all this is just forest or national forest. I don't know. What what sound were we in? Magnus? Oh, Magnor. Four stars. Didn't even have to move. I was able to get that much out of it. That's what I like out of GeoGuessr. This... This could be uh, England. I just saw a sign... It is not... Well, it's Thornton. I feel like, well, we, we resumed way out here. Let's, uh... Um, map, thank you. Let's put ourselves in the UK just for now. I don't know how to, like, I can describe how when I first get into an area, what it feels like. I instantly think of this country. Like, I think maybe with England... A lot of like open farmland, kind of like this super narrow ass roads, and then like these big hills of just 
mounds of grass that just seem to engulf the road. And then you see signs like that that aren't English. Thompson is a very common English name. There's no fancy little markings on any of the lettering. Ashwater, uh, Virgin Stowe, Road for Lake, Broadwood. These are so, I don't know, that I'm going to go, let's, let's, let's go find Virgin Stowe. Look at all them sheep. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. The throat's getting a little horsey. I should probably have some water, but I don't have any with me. All these cows. Holsteins, I believe. I live in a state here in the U.S., I believe, where someone showed me a number, I think it was maybe 10 years ago at this point, where I would guess cows outnumber people. It's kind of like what they do in New Zealand, where there's way more sheep than people. But I guess in my state, there's, what's it, it was like 5 to 1 or 2 to 1 cows to people. And thank God they don't rise up. This is quite the interesting little... Okay, we're like in the middle of farmland here, and then they just sequester four tiny little houses in apartment-style buildings that you would definitely see somewhere in one of the English cities or any European cities just cramped all together here. There's so much space, and they just cramp four houses right next to each other. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure it, I'm sure it works... One Middlecock guy. I'm never going to find Virgin Virginshire anywhere here, so I feel like maybe I'll put us there under no for no reason whatsoever, I guess. Broadwood, Lifton, Laust. Alright, well, for these, I feel like, oh, hey, look, there's Boston. I'm going to have to zoom way in. Oh, man. Excuse me. That was That was very gross. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm never going to find, I don't know if I like zoom in, I'm going to find way more of these, like Kirby Grindle, Grindelithe, like Wet Wang, great place, Hugate, Bishop Wilton, Haxby, Strensall. Some it's just funny to li list these words, like Old English itself, Hearthward on T's, nice. If you go look at like really old English, the kind of English that, um... I know at least Final Fantasy loves using and whenever they talk about things. Things like betwixt and hence, things like that. You look at the way they spelled things back then. Like jail was actually spelled G-A-O-L. Gale, which yeah, kind of makes sense. I'm going to make guess and see where we are. Oh, we're on the other side of the country. I mean, granted it was just a stab in the dark because... I didn't click part. I don't know if I would have found anything anytime next to Broadwood Widger. St. Gals on the hearth. Ah, two stars. Ey. Oh, great. We're in Australia with terrible video quality. And one of my gripes with Australia of any kind is well, this is in English. Granted, South Africa also had English road. Did I say, oh, and road work. What could you literally be doing on this massive dirt road that is road work? You just bring in more bags of dirt to put on the road? My gripe with Australian things in general is... There isn't... I'm never going to really run across anything that's going to tell me. And I put, like, here, and it happens to be on the other side of the country. I got the country right. But then... The distance between here and here is so wide, I'm going to get like maybe 2,000 points. Whereas, say I was, I feel like if I got like sections of the United States, it feels like the distance between the guess and where you, where it actually is, it feels like it's, uh, is this a sign of some sort? It probably says roll close. Nope, it's just, uh, oh, we're going to probably get some more information from where we are with this truck. That's another Ford. It has been on the road for a while. I just feel that there should be a bit more, uh, if I was doing the scoring in this game, maybe a bit more uh, reward for getting the country right, even if it's 
so far away. Then if like say I ended up down here and I clicked a place in Argentina and just happened to be in Chile across the border, I got the country wrong, but well we're near we're near the ocean. This changes things. I don't know how much it changes things, but I'm just gonna put ourselves okay, we are heading south. So I'm gonna put us over here. And this could just be literally nothing. Is there any dirt road? Well, there is a the A1, but I feel like that would be paved. But I feel like I need to put ourselves near Cocklebitty. We're talking about silly old English words. Cape Arid. I almost want to put us down here because this seems... Well, it's not arid because there's a lot of shrubbery everywhere. Maybe there'll be a sign somewhere. Can it really be technically a, a, a highway? Oh, this is probably just saying the shoulders are real, real deep. So if you happen to roll on the shoulder, even in this part of the world, nobody really is going to come by and see you. But can this giant, like, dirt road be considered a national highway? Kind of like whatever the one is here. But I'm going to put us near Cocklebitty because... It's cockle bitty. Granted, this, like I said, this could also be somewhere in the north, like all the way over here. And then I'm going to get like 20 points just because I got the country right. But we're so far away from actually where it is that it does not matter. Was this a sign or am I just making stuff up? No, it was just more friggin' fencing. All right, let's start doing judging by the sun and what our shadow is. Apparently, we're just a floating stick in the air. 20 seconds, I'm not... This is going to be two points. Actually, that's way more than I thought it was going to be. Near Streaky Bay. Well, I wonder what they do there. I think I have a good idea. And we were on Cape Bower Road. If you ever happen to be next to Chiddle... Chidedly? Chiddly? I'm going to call it Chiddly. Next round. I shouldn't have gave that thing as many stars as I did. Okay, this is uh, this section of the world. However, now exactly where? Uh, Brazil. Uh, more restaurant. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna narrow us down to said country here. And what kind of is this like lime powdered limestone or something? I don't know. Is it a roundabout? No one ever seems to go on it. Are we going to see any... I'm going to think this is a lunch and... Either they launch rockets here and have restaurants. Although the license... I... I can't look at license plates and get hung up on that if I'm still sticking on Brazil. Does that guy have a guitar in his back? Let me get closer to you. Stop getting away from me. I think you all have a, a guitar in your... Yeah! What do you got? What's in the box here? Um, judging by the air holes in it, I think you got yourself a pet of some kind. Do you, like, have a little band and you have a little pet that joins you? I feel like we're near ocean. Like, I feel this is sand. And just either on either end here, we're, we're next to the ocean of some sort. I got a feeling. This is worth 40000 I think this says... I haven't put a marker down, and I gotta remember to do that before I forget. Although, if this turns out to be Mexico again, I'm gonna be so mad. Mostly at myself, because I still can't figure out what the hell is Portuguese and what is, what is Spanish. I got some cows here. Give me... Flags, domain names, anything. More road signs. I'm gonna hit the hit the home button and go the other way. Although I don't think this is any different. Um, well, we're a different time of year here. Nothing here. This is a big satellite. I always wondered how satellite oh, satellites seem to have worked 
Because I never had one as a kid. Because there's these big giant dishes. Do you always have to like reposition it every time you uh every time you want needed a channel? Did you actually have to like manually go out and like crank a knob? Did you have to get an astrolabe out and do it by constellations? Like if you wanted HBO, you gotta aim it towards uh Orion's belt. Or if you wanted, uh, I don't know, Comedy Central, you send it towards the North Star. Like, how did how do they figure this stuff out? Give me something, folks. If this turns out to be Mexico, I'm going to lose so many points. Um, anything here? Rancho Mendez. God, now I can't tell what country this is, and I'm 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 real upset now. Give me. Although this is probably the reason why I'm not really pulling the trigger on Mexico, and this is probably going to come back, and I'm going to eat my foot if I was that flexible. Is I see a lot more Mexican flag stuff everywhere. Maybe that's just my own personal observation. It's probably terribly wrong, and I'm going to be horrifically punished for it because this is probably Mexico, and I'm going to go, God damn it, here and about. No, that said pare. And one second, let's see how wrong I am. I wasn't. I don't feel I deserve this in any way. Nothing here made me feel like I was going to find this in any way. I'll take it, but I'm only giving that one star. I don't feel that that was deserved in any way. This feels familiar. My God, are we in Russia? I think this might be Russia. I need to see... Um, no, I haven't had that beer before. Zanche? It's like X-A-N-C-H-E. Zanche? Chuhu? Machunu? Suhu? I don't know. I thought you were pointing at it at something. Well, we're near some mountains. It's very mountainous here. It says stop. Why does it say stop? We are on the foothills of some mountains. Now I know the Urals. They're super old ass mountains. I don't know how hot, how tall they get. They could have snow with it. However, I feel that we're in Central Central Asia. Eurasia, excuse me. Uh, I don't think we're going to see that truck. Can we get on the road here? Oh, this is a different time of year. Things have changed. Summertime now. I'm going to look, see if I can't suss out some more things, because maybe this is Central Asia. This is where it could be the foothills of the Urals, and I just don't know it. But. Okay, F. Uh, I can't make that out. Um, I don't think I'm going to see... Okay, this is in English. Why is this stuff showing in English now? Why did that screen just change like that? I've never seen them actually have English on the signs here. Burgas. God. Plovdiv. I've seen Plovdiv before. Plovdiv. God damn it. Where is Plovdiv? Plovdiv. Plovdiv. Why have I seen you? Why is this not coming to mind now? Tver, you got Yaroslavl, Burgess, the Six. God, Plovdiv. Burgess, I've seen these. Everything I've seen these before, and now it's just. Yes, this music is dramatically fitting my frustration. <laughs> but trying to remember where this is. Oh, these are all things that the second I see it on the map, I'm going to be so mad at myself. Plovdiv, Bulgaria. There we go. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, the six. Let's look for the six. Man, that was a painful struggle that did not need to be that bad. All right, well, we found Plovdiv. Let's start from there. I guess it was handy that I have worked with Bulgarians before. 
I have been in this section of the world. Granted, it was over here. Don't ask me what formally F Y R O M means. If I looked, I, I should look it up. 56 miles to plow kilometers, excuse me. The six. I'm not seeing the six yet. I'm going to put us right here, though. Oh, they are, we are heading south, so maybe we're over here. Although, if we're heading south, south to the right is east. Although, I'm not seeing the six anywhere. I'm just seeing the eight. Can I zoom in and maybe there's a six somewhere? Well, I'm going to just put us there and make guess. All right. I'm fine with that. Oh, the six is up here. Maybe I should probably zoom the map out more. I'll give that five stars because... That was a satisfying amount of work I put in and was able to get it. And oh my god. I think on every one of these I nailed the country. And then nailed it very well. The only one I was really off was United Kingdom. But this is the best score I think I've ever gotten. And it could have ended up horribly... If I ended up staying here in central Russia, but then I saw Plovdiv. Thank you, Bulgaria. And thank you all for witnessing that mental struggle I put myself through with the end one there, but we finally did it. 2210. I don't know how, how well I could do. I mean, this one was the worst one. This one, as I said before, I didn't deserve to get as many points as I did on this one. That was just a stab in the dark. Lots of stabs. That was a stab too. And unless I actually know all five right off the bat, I don't know how well I can get over 2210. But we'll find out on Friday. And I hope you're there for, uh, with me to see if we can do it. But in the meantime, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you could, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. It does mean a lot to all of us here at Hobby Fist. And from all of us here, to all of you, have a good one. Come back Friday. We'll be here.